Hey, I just want to take a minute and wish everybody a happy, safe 4th of July. Take some time. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the fireworks. Enjoy your barbecue. Have a hot dog, a hamburger, eat a little tater salad. But don't forget to watch this episode of The Trucker's Table. So let's get it started. Robbie's got a gold watch. Don't seem like a whole lot. After 30 years of driving up and down the interstate. But Robbie's had a good life. And Robbie's got a good wife. Oh boy, man, we have had a crazy, crazy, crazy <laughs> uh, last uh, 24 hours. Man, this time yesterday morning, I was doing good. Setting up my GPS for getting ready to leave out of here. Proceed to the highlighted route. All right, we're gonna to proceed to the highlighted route. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this time yesterday morning, man, we were leaving uh, Columbia, Missouri, headed over to um, Edwardsville, Illinois to get loaded. And you know, my history with JBX has not been the best. <laughs> I've had so many loads cancel with them, it's unreal. All, I mean, in Virginia, in Tennessee, in Mississippi, uh, now in Missouri, <laughs> Illinois, you name a state, I've had them count. Well, I don't know about Missouri, but definitely, I think maybe one in Missouri. But anyway, I've had loads after loads after loads cancel with them. And every time I go back like a knucklehead, <laughs> I will give them the benefit of the doubt on this last load because I emailed the agent. I said, hey, uh, is this load still good? Everything's good to go? Yeah, they're expecting you. Uh, and I gave her my ETA. You know, I'd be in there by 12, 30 p.m. So uh, we got there, got checked in, uh, went inside, give them, I think I, I, I think I gave her my pickup number. It was around 12, 30 or so. She punches it in. Are you dropping the trailer? No, ma'am, this is a, a live load. <laughs> she goes, well, it doesn't load until July 6th at 12.30 p.m. You're a little early. <laughs> oh, no, no, not again, no! So, uh, Call the agent. I said, hey, uh, they're telling me this load doesn't pick up until the 6th of July. Is there by chance another pickup number? <laughs> so she goes, let me check my email, uh, see what's going on. She goes in and checks her email. She goes, oh, I just got an email a few minutes ago. The, the load's being pushed back. Oh. By now it's like close to one o'clock in the afternoon central time which means it's two o'clock in the afternoon eastern time and uh <laughs> what am i gonna do man you know i got two loads booked with one of my favorite agencies i love working with um cap agency cap it's a family-run agency brother sisters i mean it's they're great people to work with i love them and um they always get me home, you know, when I need a load getting home back down to Mariana to the Family Dollar Distribution Center, they get me those loads going back down there, you know. And uh, this was a load, uh, I was uh, had a load booked with them out of Noonan, Georgia, because they also do the Pet Smart loads. And I was going to um, pick up a load uh, there in Noonan going up to uh, the Knoxville area, Knoxville, Johnson City, Kingsport, three drops. Then they had a load coming out of uh, Northwest uh, South Carolina, not too far from Kingsport. <sighs> Going back to Moorhead, Kentucky. I went ahead and booked it too. So I had back-to-back -back loads with this same agency, right? Same agent, everything. Because uh, the main agent, she, one of the sisters, she was on vacation. 
And um, so uh, the other one was filling in and um, I, uh, she was calling me, uh, asking about the pickup date. If I, if I mind waiting till the sixth to pick up that load going to Moorhead. Now, you know, I would have, I would have been fine with that. So, uh, I was dreading calling her, man. So, uh, I started looking for loads. I was trying to find, and I dropped my rate to the basement, man. The, the least I could take a load for and not lose money just to try to get to Atlanta area, uh, to, um, within a 300 mile radius of Atlanta, of uh, Noonan, Georgia. And, um, the closest I could find was up in North Carolina. And, uh, when I called about it, it was already covered, you know, cause I was willing to deadhead from North Carolina all the way to freaking Noonan, Georgia, which is on the West side of Georgia. So you're going through all South, you go through South Carolina, you're going through Georgia, you know, basically, I would have done it because I love working with this agency. They're great people. You know, I've only had one problem with them the whole time I've used them and it wasn't their fault. They sent me an email with the confirmation letter from the company on the pickup time and date and everything. I printed it out and gave it to the guard and they wouldn't even call the shipping and say, hey, we got this, it says here, you're supposed to pick up today just to confirm, hey, maybe we made a snake, maybe we didn't, whatever. You know, they wouldn't even do that. So that wasn't their fault. They honestly thought the load was good because they had the email confirmation come to find out the load didn't ship for another two or three days after you know that but uh anyway it, you know stuff like that it's not their fault i understand i don't get mad about stuff like that i, I mean if i get mad I, it's at the shipper you know but uh anyway um i told her i said i have tried and tried and tried i could not find a load i mean there was loads going to atlanta but they all delivered on the fifth of July and I needed to pick up in Noonan on the 3rd of July because I was delivering on the 4th of July so anyway it just blew up two and both of those loads were paying over five dollars and fifty cent a mile I think one was paying 564 the other one was paying I want to say 555 maybe so there was two really good paying loads and um, back to back, man, really woo, back to back, good paying loads. Um, but uh, had to cancel out on both of them, you know? So now it's uh, between one, two o'clock central, two to three Eastern, and I'm scrambling, man. I'm trying to find a load. I do not want to sit you know, in Edwardsville, St. Louis area, you know, for the 4th of July. Don't get me wrong. You know, if I was on vacation, it might not be that bad because fireworks, 4th of July, you know, St. Louis is probably gonna do it up big, you know, over the water and everything there by the, um, by the arch. It probably would have been a big deal, you know, but I've been off for 10, 11 days. I need to start rolling. <laughs> so I'm scrambling every load I call. It's covered, it's covered, it's covered. It's covered. Oh, you just missed it by 15 minutes. It's covered. It's cut. Like, I called at least on 15 different loads, at least. All of them covered. Except for one. There was one I called about that was good. But it picked up in Popular Bluff, Missouri. Uh, it was already preloaded, so I could go pick it up right away. And go, it was going to Jacksonville. The problem was, this was July 1st and it didn't deliver until July 7th, Thursday. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't, I was like, I, I asked the guy, is there any way I can deliver earlier? Nope, these are by appointment only and this was the earliest appointment we could get. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, damn. I said, I can't do it, man. I can't sit on the load for that long. I said, I've been off for the last 10, 11 days again. If I'd been out for a couple of weeks and I wanted a couple of days at the house, perfect load. Paid good, everything was good about it, light load. You know, it would have been a perfect load, but you know, didn't work out that way. So, kept kept looking, kept looking, kept looking, uh, kept refreshing. <laughs> Finally, around, what, four o'clock, uh, 
Central, right at 5 o'clock Eastern, the load pops up on the load board. Perryville, Missouri <laughs> to Doral, Florida. For you that don't know where Doral, Florida is, it's like next door to Miami. It's like <laughs> suburb of Miami. So, uh, yeah. Headed to Miami. <laughs> so, but it's paying really good. If I have to dead head out 300, 400 miles, I'm okay. Still gonna make good money on the load. Uh, I'll be empty. <laughs> so we'll be using a lot of fuel. I, I've been getting close to seven miles a gallon uh, empty. So that's not bad. Um, but uh, I found a couple loads coming out. There's one coming out of Orlando. Uh, I called about one coming out of Opopka, but it was covered. Uh, there was one coming out of Bradenton going to uh, Gulf Breeze, Florida. And uh, I called about it, but uh, you had to drop the trailer between 12 and 5 a.m. Um, on the 5th. And I'm not delivering until 8 a.m. on the 5th. So there's no way I can do that one. And then wait 24 hours to pick up the trailer and then go deliver. So I, I don't like doing those kind of loads anyway if I don't have to. So as of now, I don't have a load. I need to be on the load board looking for a load donut coming out of South Florida. Um, the CAP, they do have one coming out of Savannah. <laughs> But that's a little bit of a deadhead. We're talking 425 miles, 430 miles. Woo. Not particularly what I want to do, <laughs> but uh, I may not have a choice. But uh, yeah, I need to be jumping on the low board trying to find something. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, man. We're in Perryville right now getting loaded. You can see the trailers behind me. Uh, if you've ever heard of Mary Lee Geister, G, how you spell that? G I, is it G I E S T E R, Geister? Um, one of our favorite subscribers, he uh, used to live here. Uh, very familiar with the area. We talked for a while last night. And. Uh, I think he only lives maybe an hour and a half or less from here, he said. So uh, I would have loved to got a chance to meet him, but you know, he's home enjoying himself. Uh, he doesn't get home a whole lot. <laughs> so anytime he can get home, boy, I'm glad for him. Um, but we, um, yeah, this was not a planned load, you know, it was at the last minute kind of thing. It's a load of cereal. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, it just sucks, you know, uh, when you when you got this perfect plan in your head, how, you, how things are gonna go, and then <clears throat> a shipper just takes a dump on your plans. So, uh, anyway, right now we're just gonna start looking for another load out of uh, the Miami area. Um, and uh, we'll just expand our search out about 400 miles and just see what we can find. Like I said, the load page is good enough. If I have to deadhead, it ain't no big deal. I'm going a little bit out of route to go by the house because I'll leave here with a fresh clock, 11 hours on my clock, and it's right at 11 hours on the dot to get from here to Havana in a car. <laughs> in a big truck, at least 12. So I told uh, Teresa, I said, well, I'll probably end up somewhere between Donaldsonville and Bainbridge, Georgia. Somewhere in between there. I doubt I'll make it past Bainbridge. I'll run out of hours on my on my drive clock. I mean, I'll try to save every minute I can save. Stop at a red light, boom, off duty. <laughs> uh, you get stuck in traffic, boom, off duty. <laughs> save every minute you can save, every second you can save on the drive clock. Uh, the 14 hour, I'm good on it. But uh, I need to save every second I can save on the drive clock. So when I leave here, I'll probably ELD creep all the way out to the uh, to the main road out there and uh, try to save every second I can save and get as close as I can get to the house. 
so yeah this sucks man <sighs> anyway they're loading me now I don't know if you can tell the truck's moving a little bit <laughs> so hopefully they'll get me loaded and uh, I can be out of here uh, if I get out of here by 11 that's noon eastern time um, I can be down in the Bainbridge area between Bainbridge and Donaldsonville probably by midnight maybe a little after midnight and uh, cause I gotta stop and get fuel. So when I stop to get fuel, I'll probably do my 30 minute break then. Assuming I have enough fuel to go at least uh, three or four hours from here. Um, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, things change, but I'll be home for the fourth, not the night of the fourth, but you know, for breakfast and lunch maybe. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, as soon as I know what I'm doing out of uh, South Florida, I'll let you guys know. In the meantime, thank y'all so much. I just wanted to do a short little video, let y'all know what's going on this morning. Hey, where is that lazy fart knocker at? That duck, what you doing, buddy? He's doing good, man. He's having to take his meds, so I'll stick his uh, pill down in um, a piece of Konica sausage. <laughs> He loves it. Come on, Dad. Oh, say, oh, I see his head. <laughs> there we go. Says the duck man, Dougie Duck says neck has red right in here. Irritation. Doctor says it's just uh, probably allergies, reactions. See, so he just got you know his haircut. I don't know if they buzzed him too close or if he had something going on. But he's like, don't worry, Dad. Pause up. We're gonna make it. Yeah, pause up. <laughs> oh, that's my boy. He loves getting that neck scratch, boy. Oh, oh, dude, that's the shizzit. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in, catching this little short video. See, I also got some bacon this morning. Dad gave me a strip of bacon. See, it was so freaking good. See, I love the bacon, Dad. Love it, love it. Yes, give me some more bacon. I give you more kisses. <laughs> Oh, that's my boy. Uh, he seemed kind of sad, though, this trip out. He didn't seem as usual chipper self. It might be because of the neck irritation thing. So maybe it'll get better, and uh, he'll feel better. Oh, that's a big yawn. You didn't get no sleep last night. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much um, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully we'll get another video out pretty soon. I just thought I'd do this one, get it out real quick, and, uh, and go from there. We'll see. <laughs> but you guys stay safe. Enjoy your 4th of July. Be safe. Don't be holding on to no fireworks after you light them. Light it and choom, go on. <laughs> or put it in a bottle or, you know, get the canisters or whatever. And, you know, try to be as safe as you can. Make sure you're in the area where there's no dry grass or anything like that. Last thing you want to do is start a fire. I actually got to enjoy the fireworks show last night. Y'all probably saw some of it in the opening clip. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, enjoy your 4th of July. Stay safe. You know, enjoy your time with your family. If you get home to be with your family on the 4th, I hope you do. And uh, don't stop dreaming. Don't stop chasing that uh, big money, those big dreams. They can come true. Can't do that, that. Yeah, they can. See, mine came true. I got some bacon this morning. <laughs> I love you guys. If you ain't already subscribed, jump down and subscribe. Click the like button and leave me a comment. Let you know. Let me know what you think, what's going on. And we'll catch y'all on the next video. In the meantime, keep moving forward. Keep reaching for your dreams. And don't ever stop. Always keep punching. Uh -huh.